Wait, okay. Hi, my name is Mike Porter. I'm with Speeds Towing Auction, and we hold an auction every Tuesday. And I want to give you a few tips about how to buy a used car. And it's really important uh, that you understand that our cars here are all wholesale, and I'm going to show you a car that right now is a non-runner, but some things that you should probably look for when you're buying any type of used car. First off, when you look, we're going to look at this uh, transport here. It's a Pontiac. And there's a few things you want to check out prior to purchasing any car. One of the first things is you want to check tires. So if you look here, you can see the tire is in fairly good shape, but you want to check your tire depth. Make sure that it's not bald. Make sure it's not wearing funny on either side of the tire, because if it is, that means it's got an alignment problem or it could have been in a wreck. The next thing is you'd like to, you want to open the doors and you want to look at the door sills see if there's any different shades of paint. Look at the upholstery, touch the upholstery, look inside, make sure that there are seats. And this one, it's a van, and we have extra seats it looks like that that fit in, but it looks like they're a little rough, and this is a bit of a rough car. So you just wanna determine that when you're determining what the price is. You also wanna look at your odometer. This one has 234,000 miles in it. The odometer basically tells you the miles, and again, that does affect the price. Also, you want to check the VIN number. VIN number is going to be here on the dash, and generally it is on the door sill somewhere here or here, and run your Carfax. It costs you about $5, or if you go to a dealership, they'll usually have free Carfax. This will tell you if the car has been in a wreck or damage or mileage issues. Next thing is you want to pop the trunk. I'm sorry, the hood. Open it up. There's a little latch right there. What you want to do then is open this up and take a look at the motor because this is really really important to how valuable your vehicle is so a you kind of look and you touch um, different parts um, the hoses you look to see if there's oil residue this one has a little you want to pull your dipstick and you want to look and see what the oil looks like and this is very dark and it looks like it's been overfilled but this tells you if the oil's been changed recently. Place that back in. You want to look at your radiator fluid or your overflow. This is your overflow on this particular one. And it's the correct color. If it has any oil in it, it means it probably has a head gasket problem, you don't want to buy that car. This one looks pretty good. You also want to look underneath the car, see if there's any leaks. Um, I would also be extremely careful of any vehicle that may be super, super clean inside because some people like to pressure wash them so it doesn't show any oil. The last thing you want to look at on buying a used car is just kind of take a walk around and see if there's been any damage. You've got scratches here. Do the windows work? Ask for the key to turn the key on to see if you can get windows to work. That the, it starts, it sounds good. Uh, at the auction, we don't let you test drive them, but all our runners and drivers we drive through. But check the windows, the AC. Those are just a few things that you should look for when you're buying a car. Thanks for watching.